Hey now! What is up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, a.k.a. Reeking MB, and I just saw that Hocus Pocus 2 is available on Disney+. Plus. So, why not? Let's just throw it in and add it to my 31 Days of Horror movie reviews. I mean, it is a kid's Halloween movie, right? So it counts. This is a 2022 film. It's, my God. How many years later? 30? Almost 30 years later? Holy crap! This is directed by Ian Fletcher. And the plot is we see that the Sanderson sisters are somehow back. I mean, they explain it, you know. A couple of girls get tricked into lighting the candle that brings the witches back to life. And so now they're back in Salem and they're going around wreaking havoc and doing what they do best sucking the souls and the life forms out of young girls in order to keep themselves alive family friendly <laughs> now to be honest i am somebody who is not a big fan of the original hocus pocus i did not grow up on it i mean i saw it as a kid it was definitely on tv enough times when i was a kid so i saw the movie it didn't stick with me. It wasn't something that I was like, oh man, Hocus Pocus. I need to watch that every single October. You know, I saw it once and it sort of just went by. And then I would see so many people losing their minds over Hocus Pocus. Or every October, like talking about it for years and years. And I'm just like, maybe it's just me who doesn't love it. And then a few years ago, I rewatched it. So now as an adult, I rewatched it. And I still didn't care for it. In fact, I probably liked it less as an adult. So I was not going into this movie expecting to love it. I was not going into this movie expecting to have this huge nostalgic feeling and vibes. So if you want that type of review, a nostalgic fanboy or most likely fangirl geeking out over this, you're not going to get that. I'm just going to say, this movie's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The movie is decent. It's tolerable. It's watchable. <laughs> and that's high praise coming from me, believe me. I, mean, I think my review for the original movie is still on my channel. So if you go back and then come back to this, you'll see that, wow, I am being more than fair. I'm not saying I loved it. I'm not saying it's going to be in my <laughs> rotation every year. But for what they did with the script, for what they did with the characters, and even what they did with the witches... I thought this was a solid sequel that takes place all of these years later. First, let's talk about our main characters, or at least our main teenage girls. We have Becca, Izzy, and Cassie. Now, at the beginning, you see that mostly Becca and Cassie had this falling out. We don't really know why, and I thought that was interesting to start off with them being on the outs like clearly something happened but they don't really get into it until later so you have that looming over their friendship you see that the girls are obviously into witchcraft stuff not in a goth way like they're not you know this isn't the craft right but it's they just i don't know they like it given that they live in salem maybe that has something to do with it too but you eventually find out that well the reason why they had the falling out when they do reveal that i thought you know what for a random teenage you know kids movie i was impressed with how they develop their friendship their relationship and even how they try to resolve it like that was surprisingly mature you know it made me appreciate them as characters also i thought the actresses all three of them were pretty good with handling the material not feeling too cheesy and over the top because clearly the cheese was to come from other characters in the script there's one moment when cassie's boyfriend who's i guess the jock and there's a couple of scenes where he makes fun of the other two girls because he's like oh you're into witch stuff you're weird blah 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 and then later on, they call him out on it. And they say, like, dude, you make fun of us all the time. And he's like, what do you mean? I don't make fun of you. I just point out that you guys are weird for liking witch stuff. And they're like, that's making fun of us. Pointing out stuff about somebody that you don't like and throwing it at them is making fun of them. And he genuinely has this moment of 
being surprised. Like, is that what I've been doing? I've been making fun of you guys? I thought I was just talking to you. I, I have so many people to apologize to. If I laughed really hard at that. That was the loudest, hardest laugh that I got watching it. And so I just... I guess I just had to mention it. Of course, everyone's going to talk about the three witches, the Sanderson sisters coming back for this film. It's all three of the original actresses, Bette Miller, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy? Najimy? Uh, you know, you can tell that they're older, but they did a good job of makeup-wise, costume-wise, and their level of energy and they were into it you know so i was willing to go along with them i thought for the roles that they were coming back to you when you see how over the top they were in that first movie i was surprised that they're still over the top but i guess it just felt natural for them to act the way that they were acting for them to be as goofy as they were being and at the end of the day their plot was still to <laughs> suck out souls and, you know, it, it still has that essence of their character. And maybe another thing that made me go along with this more is that there weren't as many songs. At least I remember there being more songs in that first film. And so this one, maybe there's like two <laughs> song numbers. And so I, it was appreciated. Trust me, by me, somebody who doesn't really care for musicals, I appreciated that. You had a lot of actors um that are well doug jones comes back and i like the character that he played same character from the first film but some new actors in here tony hale who when i saw him at first i thought he was going to be over the top and goofy because i think the last movie i saw him in was clifford the big red dog so i just oh, i was like oh no he's going to be goofy and over the top but no he wasn't he was actually a normal type dude his role in the film i thought made sense and also he had a moment when he looked at the sanderson sisters he didn't know who they really were but he sort of looked at his daughter and was like why is the gothic golden girls in my garage right now and it just it made me laugh that's another moment that made me laugh also sam richardson who his character i should have hated some of the stuff that he does in the movie, I should be like, what the hell, dude? But I did like that actor, and I think he pulled off me not hating him for whatever reason. And also, Hannah Wagenham, I wanted to mention her because I just started watching Ted Lasso, and so I instantly recognized her in this movie as the character that she played. Now, when I mentioned before about the Sanderson sisters and how... This, this script in particular seemed like a lot of care was put into it. The movie starts off with this huge elaborate backstory of the Sanderson sisters as kids and showing what happened to them when they were younger, how the village sort of gained up on them, why they ended up taking off into the woods and becoming witches. Like I, I, was, I was kind of uh, intrigued by that. I thought, wow, the movie starts off in that way and, you know, the budget clearly is what it is. It's not as cheap as I thought it was going to look, but it also wasn't a uh, theatrical level either. It was sort of in that midpoint, perfect for Disney+. Plus. And so at the beginning, I was intrigued. And then by the end of the movie, they do something with the sisters, plot-wise, that made me feel bad for them. That actually made me go, am I feeling sympathy for the Sanderson sisters of all characters, of all movies do i actually feel something in my heart for them so hey mission accomplished hocus pocus maybe it helps that i did not have to pay and go to a theater to watch this i probably wouldn't be as positive i think watching it at home disney plus they knew where to put this movie they knew that watching it at home especially for the kids it's, more, it's mostly for them but it's a decent watch it's in my opinion a more decent watch than the first film. Maybe that's blasphemy. Uh-oh, original fans are going to come from my head. But I don't know. I was fine watching this movie. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you, too, have seen Hocus Pocus 2. What did you think of it? Did you like it as well? Or are you somebody that's like, I'm not a fan, so I'm not even going to bother. I don't blame you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Stick it to my decision just to rupture y'all ignition. I'm painting my perfect vision. Intuition is real. If you humble, you will never stumble. Listen, it's clear, but I'ma give it to him. Let the God see.